hello guys welcome back to my channel and in this video today i'm going to be showing you how you can fix the issue that you're currently having with your microsoft swift key keyboard all right i'm going to show you what it's been showing me for the past few days since i downloaded it and i'm very sure that many of you are also having the same issue right so once the keyboard opens up basically when i click on the bing hub i notice that anytime i also i click on the tone compose and the chat option here i get this particular prompt and it's always saying apologies but you couldn't process your request and all of that so i'm gonna show you in just few quick steps how you can get this done and how you can actually get over this prompt and you can begin to use all these other options all right and so what you're going to do is you're going to come here to where you have this option right here this three this three dots over here this is what you're going to click on and here you're going to come to where you have your gmail account all right so you're going to select that and so once you get to this point what you are going to do is you're going to come here and you're going to log out of the microsoft key so you're going to come here and select log out And once you're logged out, you're going to come back to this point again and you're going to come here to sign in into your account. And just right here, you are going to have to click on sign in with Microsoft. Okay, so once you click on sign in with Microsoft, you are going to be directed into a different website where you have to put in your details. And so right here, I'm going to advise that you select the crates another account so you're going to come here and click on create one account so you're not going to sign in with the previous accounts that you have so i'm going to show you how you're going to sign in into a new account so watch this video to the end because it's really important all right so you're going to come here and you're going to change the accounts that you signed in with previously all right so i'm going to come here and click on another different account And now you're going to click on next. And so right here, you're going to set the password you want to use for this account. And as, as you can see, you're going to put in your name. And you're also going to come here to put in your last name. And you're going to come here to click on next. And so once it opens up here, you're going to see this option here. So you're going to select your date of birth. Okay. All right, and then you're gonna put next and at this point you're going to have to go back to your email address because a code is going to be sent to you right now so you're going to go there to verify the code so you can try to refresh your page all right on your gmail application and you can see right now here um the email has been sent to my account so what i'm going to do right away is i'm going to go ahead to copy this all right ensure you copy it because if you type it directly it might not really open all right it might tell you incorrect passwords and all so just copy it and you're going to come here directly and you're going to paste it into this place okay so you're going to come here and here you're going to paste this right here All 
and what you're going to do you're going to select the puzzle you want to solve so i feel this is a little easier so you can come here and click on this puzzle right here and you're going to click on next so what this puzzle really does for you is going to just verify if you are a human so you're going to just click on that and um it's very easy so you just have to move this um rabbit thing here to the direction of the hand okay so this is the direction of the hand so you're gonna put it there so you're gonna come over again and move the dog to the direction of the hand because you're gonna click that again and for the last time again you're gonna move this again to the direction of the hand And once you're done you can see that the verification is completed and so you're going to be made to sign in into this so as you can see right now my sign in is um, already done and I've already changed my accounts um, email so let's go back right here and so what we are going to do right now we're going to verify to see if it has worked perfectly all right so you can come back to your bing again and this time around you're gonna click on this and you're gonna notice something different that it's going to work okay so you can click get started all right and it's going to work automatically so guys if this option really works for you don't actually forget to like my channel as you can see right now it's no longer showing that option anymore now it's working perfectly and the whole of the um the whole of the features are working on the bing hub so guys i really really will really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel if this was really really helpful to you please don't forget to subscribe i will really appreciate and of course like this video so that it's going to get to more people who are having this same issue all right guys thank you so much for watching